the first question says, given that 2 to the power of y equals to 1 over 8, find the value of y. Now we know 8 is 2 cubed. So let's replace 8 with 2 cubed first. So 2 to the power of y equals to 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Now I want to bring 2 to the power of 3 in the numerator. So when I do that, what happens is that it becomes 2 to the power of negative 3. Whenever we move like a term from the numerator to the denominator or vice versa, what happens is that the power, the sign of the power changes. So if it's positive, it becomes negative, and if it's negative, it becomes positive. So now we have two to the power of five equals to two to the power of negative three. One of the rules of indices is that when the bases are same, bases are two over here. When the bases are same, we can put the powers equal to each other, which means y becomes equal to negative three, and that is your value. So that the equation x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals to 0 can be written in the form of x equals to 4 minus 1 over x. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to first take 4x to the other side and as well as positive 1. So it's going to be 4x minus 1. And then I'm going to divide each term by x. As you can see, x only has a power of 1 over here, not 2. So that's going to give us x equals to 4 minus 1 over x, which is exactly what they want us to write the equation in the form of. Then it says starting with x 0 equals to 3, use iteration formula x n plus 1 equals to 4 minus 1 over x n, twice to find the estimate of the solution of the quadratic equation n equals to 0. So that's going to be x 1 equals to 4 minus 1 over x 0 which is going to be 4 minus 1 over 3, and that gives us 3.666, like 6 occurring. And then for x2, we'll do 4 minus 1 over x1. That's going to be 4 minus 1 over 3.6 recurring, and that's going to give us 3.72. It says to use the iteration formula twice to find an estimate. So we've used it twice. So estimate is going to be 3.72 for the solution. Then it says ABC is a triangle. M lies on BC such that BM is four-fifth of BC. Express these vectors in terms of X and Y. So to find BC, I'm going to go from B to A then from A to C. So that's going to be B A plus A C. B A is going to be negative Y because A B was positive Y. So when you change the direction, the sign changes. So now B A is negative Y and the direction of A C is the same. So that's going to be positive X. So negative Y plus X is B C. Now B M is 4 fifth of BC. So that's going to be 4 fifth of X minus Y or minus Y plus X, same thing. And AM now. So let's draw a line for AM. AM would be AB plus BM. So that's going to be a, B plus B, M. A, B is given as Y and B, M is 4 fifth of X minus Y. So when you add them up, that's going to give us 5Y plus 4X minus 4Y over 5, which equals to Y plus 4X over 5. That is your AM.